Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today we're checking out the new free-to-play games that you need to download right now in 2020, and some awesome games that are coming out very soon in 2021. Now before we start though, only 15% of you guys watching this video right now are subscribed. So if you don't want to miss out on any more videos on free to play games, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and comment in the comment section below what free to play game you're playing right now and I'll heart react some comments. Starting out, let's talk about one of the coolest free to play first person shooters that you can play right now. And that game is called Sector's Edge. Now in my opinion, this game is awesome, with its main focus being on its completely destructible environment and chaotic 8v8 battles. Now while we've seen this destructible environment concept before in games like Ace of Spades and of course Minecraft, Sector's Edge combines it with extremely smooth and fast gameplay, quick building and spot on gun mechanics to really bring the whole package together. It really reminds me of Crunker.io in a way, with how fast paced the gameplay is, the arena FPS feel, and of course the performance too, as Sector's Edge can run on really bad PCs and also has a very small download. While Sector's Edge is new and rough around the edges, there is a ton of potential to really move the game forward and I'm definitely going to sink some more time into it. Overall, the Steam reviews are super positive, the dev team is small but dedicated, and of course the game itself is awesome. Make sure to go and check it out and comment in the comment section below if you want some dedicated videos on this game because I'm really, really enjoying it. Now since we're just talking about it, let's get into Crunker.io, our favourite free to play FPS browser game that lately has been making some absolutely huge moves. The latest one being an upcoming launch on Steam. The official page has been launched and the community made trailer has been released, setting the scene for this huge event. As of recording, there is no date for the launch, but from what I've heard, it should be going live very soon. Now, if you want to support the game, make sure to add Crunker.io to your Steam wishlist. And if you haven't played the game yet and want to support me, make sure to sign up to Crunker.io using my referral link in the description below, as it's one of the best ways to help the channel. You can also support me by downloading the browser that I use to play Crunker.io, that being Brave Browser. But make sure to disable the ad blocker for Crunker.io to support the developers. Next up, I want to talk about a free to play first person shooter that I haven't mentioned before, and that game is called Enlisted. Enlisted describes itself as an MMO squad based shooter featuring some of the most famous episodes from World War II, so basically it's going against heroes and generals. Now according to developers, they want to go and stage these absolutely huge battles and give off like a single player theatric feel but in a multiplayer FPS format, and that is a very hefty goal. Now judging from the gameplay, it gives off a big Battlefield slash Heroes and Generals vibe, and it seems really damn good at doing that, like it seems really really fun to play. However, this game has been published by War Thunder Veterans Gaijin Entertainment, and I hope it goes down that route where you can go and play lots of different scenarios and really get into each battle and feel really immersed, and given that game's description from the developers, it seems likely. Now currently the game is in a limited beta, however Enlisted will also be part of the Xbox Series X and S launch lineup as a game preview title, and sadly a timed console exclusive. With this though, a Founders Pack purchase will be required to get access to the game, so it won't be launching as free to play then, so look forward to getting more into Enlisted sometime in 2021. Betrayal.io is very much among us but in the browser, the concept being that you're part of a movie called Betrayal, where your task is act out the roles of Betrayer and the crewmates. The Betrayer needs to use distractions to kill the crewmates, and of course the crewmates need to complete all the tasks to win. Now obviously the actual concept is straight up ripping off Among Us, but all the tasks are different and graphically the game is pretty cool too. Overall it plays quite well and works if you want to quickly hop on and have a match, but I'll have to play some more to see if it's actually worth sinking some more time into. As always, let's quickly mention the new games that Epic Games are giving away, and this section will be a quick one. From the 13th of November to the 20th, a completely new game called The Tech Sorceress will go live, with the first week of its release being free for anybody to download. The concept seems to be a mix between bullet hell and a typing game, and while that doesn't necessarily interest me, it may be worth checking out. Apex Legends was one of the biggest free to play launches of 2019. It dropped out of nowhere and made a huge impact, shaking up the battle hour scene forever. 
Fast forward to now and Apex Legends has officially launched on Steam alongside Season 7 going live, and fans are very happy. This is definitely unconventional, moving from Origin to Steam given that Apex Legends is published by EA Games, but hey, regardless, we're happy, we get to play it on Steam now, all our progress is saved, and the fans have responded really, really quite well, as Apex Legends has shot up to be one of the most played games on Steam, with a peak of 112,000 players. Season 7 has been a huge success too, with a new map called Olympus, a new legend called Horizon, and the standard affair of an updated battle pass. Overall, Apex Legends has been making all the right moves, and it's great to see that this game has gotten a second wind. So previously we talked about a new game called Enlisted. It's published by industry veterans Gaijin Entertainment, and these guys publish War Thunder, which is one of the biggest tank and plane games out right now. So it's kind of funny that we're now going to be talking about a new third person shooter called Caliber, which is made by War Gaming. The people who make World of War tanks, World of Warships, etc. Basically the rival series. So both companies going into the shooter realm and this game is their new venture. It's called Caliber Third Person Shooter and judging from the gameplay it gives off heavy tactical third person shooter vibes. Similar in part to Rogue Company but more battlefield-ish or even more so commish in nature. Now similar to both, you've got your objective focus gameplay and your objective focus classes. You've got Assault, Support, Marksman and Medic, each with their unique abilities that bring some flavour to the battlefield. It seems standard enough, but judging from the gameplay, there really isn't that flair and sparkle that we can see in games like Rogue Company or Enlisted for example, with many commenters on the YouTube gameplays for Calibre saying that Calibre looks like a mobile game. Now from what I can see, this game has been in closed beta for about two years, with the latest gameplay being released about mid this year. There's been no further announcements about an open beta or release, and my bet is that the release of Rogue Company definitely put this schedule back a bit. Regardless, Calibre is a game that I really want to go and try out, so stay tuned and if I hear any more info, I'll pass it on ASAP. Next up, I want to quickly mention Facebook Gamer's new venture into cloud-based gaming. Facebook gaming has always been a bit of a meme, with a lot of not so good browser games that nobody really cares about. However, about a week or so ago, Facebook launched quite a few cloud stream games in the app and on the browser. Currently available during this initial stage are games like Asphalt 9 Legends, Mobile Legends, PJ Tour, etc, etc, so generally low latency mobile games. It's also only available to people in some parts of the US right now, so unfortunately I haven't tested it, but accessibility will be expanded eventually and more action slash adventure games will be added too. But with that said guys, those are the new free to play games that you need to check out. But other than that, this is Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, out.